Uh, so we are in uh, one of the minority village in a mountain on the way uh, close to the elephant waterfall. And what we were actually explained, uh, those people are called minority, it's a minority village. Uh, the reason is because they have a darker skin and uh, about a century ago, uh, they immigrated from uh, Cambodia over here and uh, stayed. There are about 54 uh, tribes, kind of communities uh, in the area. And, uh, and, uh, and the south part actually before many years ago, from what I understood, was they actually belonged to Cambodia. And some of them immigrated to the mountain. And if you can look at the, at the way they build the architecture of the huts of the cabins, uh, the big difference you see from Cambodia, which is flat and flooded a lot of, on, a, on a rainy season of the year, they are not built on a ramp like when they have in Cambodia. Here it's the mountain, the water has uh, many places to go down the hill, so they don't have to lift it like on a ramp, on a poles, uh, elevated from the ground. Here they are on the ground, and, uh, and you can see there's actually there's a river, if you can tell there's a river behind the shock. Very simple. Uh, very simple structure, some uh, plywood and a roof. Uh, it's cool, it's not too cold. And actually I'm surprised during the rainy season, it's getting hotter. This is like the winter, the dry season, the more the winter, it's getting colder. And rainy season, it's rain about two or three times a week. Uh, not too bad. And uh, it's fun, it's, uh, it's really exciting to be ex uh, exposed to the real uh, Vietnamese life in the village and uh, and to see how actually this uh, internal politics uh, about the tribes, uh, the North Vietnam, the South Vietnam, the color, the accent and everything and it makes a difference even if your local live here, if they go north, go south, they can face some kind of discrimination if you come from north and south even though it's much better than it used to be in the past in the 70s uh, but you can still feel it, you can still feel it. Uh, that's what the local people tell us. That's it. We are uh, continuing the ride with the uh, bull riders here in the mountains. In the, uh, it's not an outback, but it's, yeah, it's off-road uh, experience.